All right, today I'm going to introduce you to selection rules. If you're not familiar with selection rules, they're just if-then statements. If some condition is met, then do something else. You're probably not going to use them a ton in Calculator, but when you want them, they're really handy to have, and some folks at NC State have built this into the code. So there's a couple of key words that you need when you use selection rules. They're create state, set state, if and in if, and go to. What I'm going to do is bring up a model, and we'll use these in a model so you can see how they work. Okay, so let's put selection rules to use. The first thing we need to do is create a state. All one word, create state. Then we need an object that's going to have a state. In this case, my object is going to be the lights. And then we'll assign a state to that object. The lights are off. So and we've got the keyword create state. Then the object, all one word, no spaces. Then the state, all one word, no spaces. The object and the state can be anything you want them to be. The keyword create state, though, needs to be exactly as you see it. All right, so we've got the state created. Now we can use it in a selection rule. If the lights are off, then we're going to do these things. We're going to put our hands to the light switch and turn lights on and diff. Okay, so what's going on here? We have the state. The lights are off. The object is the lights. The state is are off. Then we're going to test that state. If the lights are off, and that is true, then, there's kind of an implicit then here, then do these things that come before the end if. Okay. So we're going to do everything in between the if and end if. In that case, uh, it's hands, turn, uh, hands to the light switch and turn the lights on. So hands to the light switch, turn the lights on. Now, one other thing we can do is set a state, set state, and this might be useful. The lights, excuse me, the lights are on. And let's just make sure this matches. Okay. So we've gone in here. The lights are off. That's true. So we're going to do everything between the if and the end if. In this case, that means hands to the light switch and turning the lights on. And also now setting the state lights are on. So if I test this again, if the lights are on, say hello and if okay lights are off we change the state down here to the lights are on now we're testing if the lights are on that's true now so we're going to do everything between the if and the end if and that's say hello so what we end up with is hands to the light switch turn lights on and then say hello i can come up here and change the first state in the create state to on and now look at what happens it goes in and it says, okay, we've created a state, the lights are on. We test to see if the lights are off. This is not true, so we skip all this and we go right down to if the lights are on. That is true, the lights are on, say hello. Okay, and that's what we see executed in the model, say hello. So I can flip that back and again, it'll go back to the way it was. All right, so that's a basic selection rule. Let's look at one other thing, a go-to operator in this model I've already created. So again, we've got a state, the lights are on. It says, if the lights are on, go to goal greeting. All right, in the go to statement, you need go to, you need the keyword goal, and then you need the goal you wanna to go to spelled exactly the same way. So if you wanna to go to goal greeting, this goal greeting here and this need to match precisely. Okay, so. If the lights are on, go to goal greeting. What does that mean? That means we're going to skip everything until we get to goal greeting. So all this stuff here gets skipped. And we can see in our model result, that's exactly what happens. The lights are on. If the lights are on, go to greeting. It goes down there and it says, I see you. Okay. Let's say the lights are off. Okay. And now it says, if the lights are on, go to greeting. Well, that's not true this time. So it's just going to keep on going. And it says turn lights on that's all the stuff that gets going and then we go down to goal say i see you so in this case everything gets executed the lights were off we detected that we turn the lights on and then we set our greeting okay that is selection rules in a nutshell there's all sorts of things you can do this with this looping and other stuff but this will get you started playing with it if it's interesting to you again remember 
you probably won't need selection rules in 90% of the models you create, but if you, if you need them, they're there and this will be a useful tool.